this is a replant. We did pull out our um, previous planting when we did plant in um, July, July the 30th. We planted in this section and we had a big virus attack. I reckon it was 70%. Um, we couldn't keep up with the pulling out and replanting, so then we just had to therefore decide let's pull them out and start over again. And what, so, was, what was different this time? Yeah. This time is, is getting on top of the sprays mm -hmm. and making sure that um, we have killed the, uh, the pests um, and now it's, it's working fine. So basically it sounds like what you're doing is you, in the early stages you set it up using pesticides and then you reach a point where you hand over to the biological yes, that's right. agents, yes? Yeah. So it's pretty much a four to six week by the time you start to release until you start having flowers as these ones are starting to emerge, the uh, flower now. And um, the more and more flowers, it is, that's what we need to release the uh, biological so they can have the flowers to, um, to feed on and to, um, yeah, to take off from. All right, so yeah. that, that, that's your indicator when you're ready for the biological releases, when yes. the flowering starts. And we have a weekly monitoring um, that um, takes carried out through each week. So, and that's we then look at what, what the flowers doing, what the um, pests are in, in each flower, and if it's high pressure or low pressure, and and that's when we determine if we need that extra spray or not. And so these are, are four weeks, and in another week we'll, we'll start releasing our um, biological um, bugs. Once you're releasing the biologicals, what happens to the chemical program then? Oh, it stops. It stops? It stops. Oh yeah, most definitely stops. Completely or you might need something occasionally? I mean, we've had other sections and other blocks that um, are already in biological uh, process. These are so more advanced crops? More advanced. So we haven't had a spot spray, but only one we've had a spot spray. Just one? Just one. And what and was that for? A two spot. Two spot oh, might. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. That's not bad. That's a big change. Yeah, you, oh yeah, you, like from not spraying for um, two months yeah. now, so... You happy yeah. about that? Oh yeah, I'm much happy. Why? What's the? What's better? Not spraying? Not spraying <laughs> and, and it's healthier, the parts. Uh, as soon as we stop spraying, we realise, uh, we, we can see that the parts are, are more free and then they're thriving and then they, they just look, they okay. look vibrant. How do you go with releasing the bugs? What's that like? Is that a bit of a task is it oh look it is hectic to start off with because you have to there's there's no bugs to start off with so you have to load them on and it's just and every Tuesday Wednesday we have um, biological from from Loxton on the Tuesdays and the Wednesdays it's from Manchil from WA and that's all the Oriuses that's where the Oriuses come from um, yeah in that first two three weeks it's it's full on pretty much just you're just loading them up Mm -hmm. um, each plant, pretty much, like just all biologicals. So it's a bit of labour. Is it easy, yeah. to, apart from that, to do? Is it a straightforward task? It is pretty much straightforward. I mean, look, it's just it's just um, a bit of time consuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but look, I'd rather do that than spray every two, yeah. three weeks, every three times a week. It's 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 actually quite fun to do it because you think you can see it, you can see them actually working. They're twenty four hours, seven days a week. They're actually monitoring their, their... You can see them uh, in the crop? You can see it in the crop. They're actually working for you. And you're occasionally losing some plants to tomato spotted wilt virus? Oh yes, I've just pulled out one over there and they still pop up. At the moment I'm thinking 5 to 5%, five maybe 10% and that's, that's, that's really nothing at all. And with the plants being healthier and more productive, yeah. you reckon you more than make that up? Yeah, that's right. We were thinking at the beginning to do only one or two sections to start off with because we don't know whether it's going to work. I mean, we did have a rough start with one section with all the viruses popping up and, and all the new spray program that we did eventually, we did start originally, which wasn't working. So then we had to evaluate and we had to work out, no, that once every two weeks just was not enough. How many plants have you got under biological control approximately? How many blocks and how many plants is that? Well we've got five, five blocks, five sections Yep. and this is the the last section so it's the fifth, fifth block so it's block E we can name it. Um, we um, got over I think it's between 20-25 thousand plants 
Okay. All up. Yeah. So you haven't been through a full crop yet. So you don't know how to add up the overall No, not, not yet. Not yet. Right. But we have started to pick. Okay. So we have right. started to pick um, for the last two weeks now. So even the fruit are much shinier. Yeah. So they nice. Yeah. So this is your first season. What yes. will you look for? This is... This, this is, is my son, Evan. Yeah. What will you look for um, to tell you whether or not this is worth continuing with? How will you evaluate? You already I, made up your mind. <laughs> I've already made up my mind. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, I've, I've, I was just, and we'll just we know that we can pick it, pick a longer a season, because it's a nice spraying and um, everything's under control because the biologicals are just thriving. They're, yeah. they're, um, they're breeding. They're, they're multiplying and yes. they're doing really well. Yeah. That sounds nice, a longer pick, so the plants are just going to be healthier for longer. Much, much healthier. Oh, yeah. That's good. So, no, that's it's, good. It's, I'm very happy that we have started this program and um, I, I recommend it to any grower. Why wouldn't you go back to a conventional spray program? Oh, it's costly. It's, it's labour, it's the time, it's, it's um, the plants. Uh, it slows down the plant completely and um, yeah the plants are much much healthier much healthier now once I mean over two months no spray and they're, they're looking great so this is the this is block D which is a very first section that's planted and it was planted on the 30th of July and we did two months of spraying in here because being a cold, starting off cold, um, it takes longer to grow and to flower. So the other section that we were just in in block E, four to five weeks spraying. So, but this one we did a two month spray. And from that two month spray, um, yeah, it was twice a week. And obviously there was, it's weekly monitoring. October the 3rd was the release. So it takes two months of spray and then the releases of the biologicals. And today is the 20th of December. So now we have, um, yeah, over two months of no spray. And actually my son has picked a tomato, which is a non-spray tomato, yeah. So that's, um, that's part of our just for home use. plant and the fruit and the load. You can see I've already picked many greens and also they're starting to colour their reds and they're just they're healthy. I mean the leaves and the, the scaling, there's, there's just nothing. It's just, it's just wonderful. Look at them all. You can see it on the tips and you can see there's, there's like one, two, three, four, I don't know, about eight aureuses in there. I don't know, can you see that? So they must be hungry because there's no thrips around the flowers. No, there isn't. No.